Hello again. So the second part of my 2013 favourites video today and today is all the colour cosmetics so all the eye and lip products that I have used and enjoyed during 2013. Alright so let's get started. First of all I'm going to start with a eye primer, Face of Australia eye primer which is the one that has taken out my favourite for the year. This one is the, the matte primer this, but what it is is like a white cream product. It is fairly thick and waxy but I find it does a, a really good job of evening out that um, eyelid area, any discoloration or, or veins that you might have showing through and it just does seem to provide a nice smooth base for the application of, of eyeshadow whether it be a cream or a powder product that you're putting over the top. Mm. So yeah, the Face of Australia Eye Primer in Matte was my favourite primer in 2013. I am keen to try the Milani Eyeshadow Primer next though. On to eyeliners, so just your normal pencil coal liner. I have two that um, that I really enjoyed in 2013 and used really regularly. First one being the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner. So it's a waterproof coal kajal pencil. This particular shade is 003 Brown and, and is my favourite shade in the range. They actually, actually have quite a, a nice colour range in these pencils. I personally think a black coal pencil is, is too harsh, especially if you've got paler colouring and I also think a dark pencil line around the eye, particularly beneath the eye, is, is quite ageing so um, it's important not to have anything too harsh in my opinion. So really like the brown, it is quite a dark brown which is good. And what I particularly like about these eyeliners is that the colour is um, really quite intense, really creamy, glides on nice and easily without tugging the eye area. Stays put once it's on although it does um, allow enough time to smudge it out a little bit for a bit of a smoky look which I often do with my eyeliner. Really like the, the scandalized pencils. My only gripe being that I wish it was a wind up pencil and not a one that needs sharpening. And the only other eyeliner I'm going to mention is actually an Almay product. This is one that I've probably repurchased three or four times and used very frequently in, in 2013. It's called an Intense Eye Colour. And this colour is 002 Brown Topaz. And what Almay do with their eye products, they actually categorise them for different coloured eyes. I believe this particular shade is recommended for blue eyes. I actually have hazel eyes, but I, I use this all the time as my eyeliner for my lower lash line and the reason being that the colour is not too harsh and the pencil itself is really lovely and, and soft and gives you a, a good degree of control. It's quite a precise little tip on it. A wind up pencil which I love. Another thing about it too, it's got one of those caps that actually clicks on which is just, just a little detail but something that I really like because you find if pencils don't do that the top ends up falling off in your bag or you trying to avoid that so you jam the lid on so tightly that it ends up splitting and then falling off really easily anyway so so that's it there it looks very similar to the scandalized color on camera but it is a little lighter and a little more coppery as well and if I'm wearing contact lenses I can wear this particular one on or close to my waterline as well and don't seem to have any irritation from it and it does last very well throughout the day. Moving on to cream eyeshadows which I wear quite frequently simply because they're such an easy product to wear. I can apply them with my fingers and with cream eyeshadows you seem to be able to just put a, a sweep of one colour over your lid and it um, looks multi-dimensional somehow. So. Really love my Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 hour shadow. And my favourite colour is Bad to the Bronze, which is favourite colour of a lot of people on YouTube, but it is just such a great wearable colour. Easy to apply, lasts really well, good pig pigmentation and a, a lovely finish on the skin as well. So really love that one. But another discovery in 2013 along similar lines is the Face of Australia Budge Proof Eyeshadow. This particular colour is called Bronze Sphinx. 
Now I'll show you a comparison between that and the Maybelline Bare to the Bronze. That one's Bare to the Bronze and that one there is the Bronze Sphinx from Face of Australia. I mentioned this Face of Australia Bunch Proof Eyeshadow in one of my favourites videos towards the end of last year and what I pointed out in that video is that it's not actually true to name, it's not that budge proof, it does uh, wear off during the day but it does so quite evenly, it doesn't sort of um, end up patchy or, or looking grubby, it, it seems to just fade fairly evenly and is really easy to reapply as well. So even though that is the case, I still really like this eyeshadow and compared to the Maybelline Colour Tattoo product, it seems to be a lot softer in consistency when you put your finger into the pot and it's almost like a cream to powder product. Now I know the colour tattoos once they're on your eyelid they dry and you know they don't obviously stay feeling like a cream but this particular Face of Australia one it feels powdery when you're actually applying it to your eyelids and I have actually found with a bit of trial and error that the best way to apply this one is actually with an eyeshadow brush just using a very light hand and it gives such a lovely wash of colour and I just really like the, the colour of this particular shade. And still on cream eyeshadows, another one that I really enjoyed in 2013 is this product here. It's a L'Oreal Hip product. I don't know if too many people out there have heard of these particular products. It's, it's a line put out by L'Oreal, uh, the, the Hip stands for high intensity pigments and they have both cream and powder eyeshadows which were both in my favourites for 2013 so this particular one it comes in a little um, metal paint type tube it's got a cream shadow paint and this particular shade is called Witty This one's just a, a 7.2 gram tube, so it's a little tube, but it, it seems like there's a lot of product in there. It spreads really well, so you can just put like a tiny dot on your eyelid and then and then blend it out. It's a really lovely colour once again, all pretty similar shades that I tend to, to go for, the bronzy brown sort of shade. As well. uh, now this L'Oreal Hip line isn't really available in the sort of run-of-the-mill type uh, Priceline or, or specialty shops. I actually get mine from a discount chemist which is um, near the Woolworths where I do my grocery shopping so I'll put the name of the chemist chain down below so there might be one of these particular uh, pharmacies chemists near you. That my one always has this sort of discount table at the front and has a lot of this L'Oreal hip um, products. So while I'm talking about that brand as I said, it's also my favourite powder eyeshadow as well. I've got three different ones here. They duo eyeshadows. So there's this one that's called Devious. This one that's called Flashy. And the other one I've got is called Sassy, which is actually one that I'm wearing today. So like a taupey brown colour on my lids and then the sort of bluey... I don't know, turquoise colour I've put on below my, my lower lash line. I'll just to show you the intensity of the, the colour in those shadows, look at that. So when they say high intensity pigments, they, they're definitely true to name. They're a lovely consistency, these eyeshadows. They apply really well. They're buildable for uh, more intensity or a more sheer sort of look. They come in some great colour combinations, there's other, other varieties in these duos that I, I don't have. And these particular ones from my Discount Chemist sell for $5, for the, $5 each for the duos. Just an honourable mention as well has to go to my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This gets so much praise on YouTube, particularly Emily Knoll loves these Wet n Wild palettes. This particular one I had to source from eBay because Wet n Wild is pretty much impossible to get in Australia. But i um, so glad that I, I did manage to get hold of it because it is such a great palette. It's got some fantastic colours in there. The shadows themselves are just absolutely beautiful consistency. Really good 
colour payoff there. But yeah, they, they are really great eyeshadows and, and deserve the praise that they get on YouTube. And on to mascaras, I've got three here as my favourites for 2013. I actually talked quite a bit in 2013 about Maybelline mascaras, which are really great mascaras, but the ones that ended up being my favourite is the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara, which I don't have. I'll show you a shot here. And yes, I know, people have told me that the CoverGirl Clump Crusher is the same mascara, and yes, it does look exactly the same, the brush and the container apart from a different colour, but I don't know whether I'm convinced that the formula is the same because I just find that the um, Max Factor one just looks that little bit better on my lashes. But another one I've really enjoyed in 2013 is this sleek waterproof mascara. Just fairly really basic packaging and a fairly standard sort of wand. What I like about this one is that it's a fairly wet formula and the brush itself seems to be quite soft as well so it's definitely waterproof, it lasts through rain and crying and while it's not a particularly dramatic look it's a very natural soft lengthening and volumizing mascara so a nice everyday sort of mascara that one and I'm, I'm keen to get another one. And the last mascara I'm going to mention is the Bow Beauty Curling Mascara. This is one I found in 2013 just to be a really great mascara for getting those little bottom lashes. So it's got this curved brush and I find if I, I turn it a certain way I can just manage to get those lower lashes without smudging mascara below my eyes which I, I find a bit of a challenge I must say. And, and I, I don't seem to end up with panned eyes from it. It's a $2 mascara so yeah I really liked that one. For my lower lashes in 2013. Quickly moving on, eyebrows. This will be no surprise to people that have been watching my channel last year. My favourite eyebrow products are the Milani products. There's the Easy Brow Pencil and the Brow Fix Kit. This is in medium. So the pencil comes with a, a spoolie brush at one end and a wind up and a wind up waxy pencil at the other. I just find this is a great size pencil for my eyebrows, really great colour. It's not too waxy, yet there's, yet there's enough wax in there so that's not too powdery. Nice and easy to apply. So I just basically use this to draw in my brows and then use the spoolie on the end to smudge it out a little bit. And the, the brow kit is made up of three powders. So there's a highlight powder at the top, the actual brow powder in the middle and the bottom shade is like the waxy um, colour. As I said this is the medium shade and I actually find this brown colour in the middle there just to be a perfect colour for my brows. It does have just the tiniest bit of red in it so, so if that's something you're wary of probably not a, a good colour to choose. But it does also come with a, a couple of little brushes and a pair of tweezers in there too so nice little handy kit and quite inexpensive. I got that one from Cherry Culture. That's it for eyes. On to lips. Now I'll start with lip balms. Love the Baby Lips Tinted Lip Balms. Just such a lovely feeling on the lips. Keeps your lips nice and soft and they actually do have a, a decent amount of colour. So I've got Pink Lips, Cherry Kiss and Berry Crush. My three favourite colours and very much to reach for in 2013. Moving on from there, really enjoyed my Revlon Kissable Balm Stains in 2013. A wind up lipstick pencil Really lovely balmy consistency. You do leave a stain of colour on your lips as well. Really easy to apply and I reach for these particular three colours a lot. So we've got Precious, Romantic and Honey. And as far as, as, far as the lipstick pencils go, a honourable mention also has to go to Bow Beauty. They're jumbo wind up lip pencils. Really lovely consistency. These pencils are $2 each. I can't remember what this particular colour is called, I'll find out and put it in the box below for you. 
and this newer one for me is a colour called Bourdois Pink. Really lovely and soft and uh, sheer, these lip pencils. So that's the two colours there. So, yeah, really rate those Bow Beauty Jumbo lip pencils. I did really enjoy my Revlon lip butters in 2013 as well, but after a lot of toing and froing, I decided that I would name my favourite lip, my favourite actual lipsticks as the Face of Australia Lip Quench lipsticks. What I really like about these ones is that they're really moisturising. They have shea butter and jojoba. They come in this quite sleek black tube with a clear top so you can actually see what shade you're getting. And so the three colours I have here is Power Surge, Lychee Crush which is a lovely nude colour and Forbidden Fruit which is a deeper red. Really lovely lipsticks. They have a SPF 30 plus as well which is an added bonus and Highly recommend them. Just a couple of glosses to recommend as well. First of all, the Maybelline gloss, which I've forgotten the name of. I'll put it down below. This particular one is called Plum Luster. What I like about it is that it's quite a pigmented gloss. Get a lot of product in the tube. And they seem to be quite opaque and quite a nice colour selection as well. Plus the fact that it lasts really well for a gloss and it feels really comfortable on the lips. It's not too uh, sticky or dry. Really like that one. And the other one I fell in love with in 2013 as well. You probably saw this in my Christmas video. So yes, it was quite close to the end of the year. Is this Lacura lip gloss from Aldi. I think that it's mainly the novelty of this particular product that I like. It comes with a, a mirror. And also when you twist the top, there's a light inside. And when you're applying this lip gloss, it actually shines that light at your lips where you put in the gloss. So you use your mirror and your torch. And you can see exactly where you're putting your lip gloss and it, the gloss itself is, is really decent one as well. So that's it, that's all my favourite colour cosmetics for 2013. A few random um, items in there I know but that's kind of how I rolled in 2013. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.